When we're talking about negative symptoms associated with schizophrenia, these can be very difficult to treat. And the core negative symptoms that we typically see are number one, decreased motivation. Now, this is where the person is really not interested in doing much of anything. Nothing gets them excited. They have no motivation or drive to do anything. We also see what's called a blunted or restricted affect. This is where the person does not have any reactivity when they're talking about things. Like if I'm happy, for example, I have some reactivity. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be doing this. And it's going to be great, right? Or if I'm sad, I look like I'm sad, right? Because I'm talking about a sad topic. With these individuals, they're just flat. There's really no affective reactivity at all. There's an, And that goes hand in hand with the other idea of a reduced emotional range. They just don't go through the normal range of emotions. And it can be really weird when you're interacting with this person because they might be talking about something that's like really depressing or sad and they have no reaction to it. Or they might be talking about something that should genuinely be happy or exciting and there's no emotional reaction whatsoever. The other thing that we typically see is decreased speech, right? A paucity of speech. So these people are talking a lot less. They're not interacting very much. It could be, it could be really difficult. It's like pulling teeth to get them to answer some basic questions. Now, unlike the positive symptoms that are easily treated with many of the options that we've talked about in previous videos, the negative symptoms really don't have a medication option that's been proven to work. Even the medication clozapine, which we've talked a lot about, we say it's a great medication, it does absolutely nothing for negative symptoms, and that's been proven in several trials. So these deficits are often chronic, they're functionally disabling, and quite honestly, we usually hope that they're secondary negative symptoms, right? Those caused by the medication, for example, because at least that's treatable. If they're not, and they're primary negative symptoms, they are often very, very difficult to treat and really not treatable at all. So tackling these negative symptoms is probably going to be the next frontier of psychi psychiatric treatment for schizophrenia, and we've yet to come up with a viable solution.